Hey y'all, good morning, what's good, yo yo. I just got back from Vegas like two days ago, so I'm still feeling a little like I can't, you know, everything's like a simulation, okay? I got home from Vegas yesterday, I walked into my apartment, I was looking around like, uh, am I on fucking drugs? Like, I would also like to preface that I don't do drugs. That was a joke. I'm three years clean, bitches. Three years, or maybe two and a half. I, no, two, almost three years clean. <laughs> I got this canned cold brew from Erewhon last night. Um, I've never tried it before. Groundwork Organic Nitro Cold Brew. Cause I'm leaving for another trip in like two days. So I don't want to get like a whole thing, you know? So the reason I feel so terrible is because one of my greatest talents, and I understand that this isn't really a flex or considered a talent, but it, it is, is when I want to, like if I was to go to Vegas for say two weeks straight, okay, and I wanted to like, like drink like all day long, stay up all night, like make all these crazy decisions, I could without, without any problems. I can hang like a motherfucker. That's, I've always been that way. I don't do it often anymore, but when I do, like I just, I'm just, I'm so, I'm like a college boy when it comes to things like that. Like I can just do it so well. So I'm really feeling the effects right now, if you will. But good morning, cheers. I got back the day before yesterday and I, um, I sort of just let myself relax because I really wasn't doing well. And then yesterday I got my shit together, boy. I deep cleaned the apartment. I made a whole to-do list. I got a bunch of work done. I like really, I had furniture delivered. So I like set up my whole office. I really had a fire under my ass yesterday, even though I was seeing stars. So that makes me feel good today. Um, there's a lot of things that are already done, but I felt like we could hang out today, talk about Vegas a little bit get some more stuff done together. I don't know. I'm so happy to be back home and like back in the groove of things, but that was like the best weekend of my life. Like that was so much fun. I'm gonna wash my face real fast cause it's greasy and I have pimples. I've been up since six because I had a lash appointment and me and my lash girl always do our appointments at 7 a.m. because that just, that, listen, it's so nice having my lash appointment at fucking like 6.37 in the morning because then like, she comes over, I have like a lash bed here, okay? I set up my lash bed, I go back to sleep. And then I wake up at nine and it's like nothing happened. Versus when I used to like have lash points in the middle of the day, like I felt like like a loser, like taking like a long nap in the middle of the day and then I'm up late at night because I have all this energy. So this just works really well. I'm almost out of my glow recipe cleanser. I need to be sponsored by this fucking brand. I need to be sponsored by this brand. So I hardly ever get like a good old traditional pimple, um, but I have two. Right now, right there and right there. So I'm, I got these new pimple patches, not sponsored. I'd love to be sponsored by this brand, but this is not sponsored. I saw Emma and Maggie McDonald talking about these peace out acne patches and how well they work. So I'm gonna throw a few on today. Cause they're cool. Cause you can like put makeup over them. Like you could put on one of these patches and then put concealer over and you can't even see it. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world when I saw that on their channel. I also want to tell you guys something before you hear it from anyone else or before you, before you start speculating, all that kind of thing. Um, me and Brandon did break up. Nothing happened, like nothing detrimental happened to cause us to break up. It was, it's honestly, it's my fault. It's not my fault, it's just the way I am. So like, let me try to explain this the best I can. My last like relationship, cause I used to be like a relationship person. I, I was in like consecutive long-term relationships for a long time. And my last one ended like the week I moved to LA. So like three years ago was when I had my last like relationship. And since then, like I developed, first of all, social anxiety. Second of all, a crazy like sort of workaholic sort of thing. And I, I really need to go see a therapist about this, I think, but I associate hanging out with people as like a step back in my like growth as a human, my productive work life sort of, I don't know. I'm bad at explaining things, I'm sorry. Let me try to get better. I just, I love to be alone so, so much. My perfect life is I talk to my parents every single day. I talk to Jordy sometimes and I go out with like my party friends like maybe once every two weeks and then I'm alone the rest of the time not talking to anyone, not texting anyone. So like, Having a boyfriend comes with a lot of communication and like lots of like hanging out, talking on the phone, things like that. And even if, even though we weren't hanging out every single day because I just can't do that, like I felt like I had to like communicate with him over the phone every day and I, I just couldn't, 
I couldn't give him what he deserves like attention wise because I just don't have it in me at this point in my life I don't I don't think that's really a bad thing I just I'm just not I just really haven't been ready for a relationship for a long time and I sort of jumped into things with him and I wasn't giving him what he deserves and that totally wasn't fair to him and he would say all the time he was like I don't care like I'll take what I can get from you and I was like no that's it's not fair to you like at all it's just really not and I feel like awful about it um and my other thing is like I feel so incredibly horrible about myself if I don't work every single day and be productive every single day and get a bunch of shit done and I can't I can't do that if I'm you know hanging out with people talking to people I, I just can't it just doesn't work for me like 95% of the time I cannot film when there's people around I can't work when anyone's around like I, I can't work out I can't go to the gym I can't clean I can't focus on anything besides the person I'm hanging out with. So then I feel like such shit about myself. And so uh, we're still friends. Like I still like, I love him to death. He's such an amazing person. He's probably like the most thoughtful person I've ever met in my life. He really is. And I told him that I was like, you're, I'm gonna cry, oh my god. He's so amazing, but I'm just not ready and I didn't wanna keep stringing him along like that. It wasn't fair. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that so you're not like in the dark about it because I did post about him a lot so I feel like it'd be unfair to like just be like not ever talking about it. I mean him just like broke up and like I said nothing so yeah and I'm still gonna be his number one fan I'm still gonna go to a few of his shows he is going on tour this summer I'm gonna go to a few of his shows be his number one fan I'm always gonna be rooting for him we're just not we're just not dating anymore and that's okay I need deodorant that just made me fucking sweat to be honest someone pointed it out to me like last year and I can't stop thinking about it whenever I'm like chilling sometimes I hang out like this like my hand is sort of like chilling in like a dinosaur sort of stance why so I really like lived in the moment on this Vegas trip like I didn't film anything but I will give you guys like a little rundown a little play-by-play -play while we do our makeup for the day I should have put my primer on like before these pimple patches right whatever Let's also preface one thing, like I went into this knowing that I was going to have the most feral weekend of my life. Like I wanted to give the same energy as I did when I was like a crazy teenager. And I fucking did, I really did. Um, so we like, I went with Mike and Brendan, my two friends. I literally got drinks the second we got to LAX. I pounded two mimosas and then we get on the plane. I was sitting with Mike and Brendan was sitting somewhere else and I went up to the flight attendant. I was like, yo, could I, could I get a drink? And they were like, it's, a, it's an hour flight, like you'll make it. I was like, oh, okay. We land in Vegas and we went to the liquor store before we got into our Uber and they were having like a vodka tasting, like literally the second we got there. And so we tried it, it was called Vegas Baby, this like vodka, it literally tasted like nothing and that's like a lot coming from me because I like can't take shots, like I, I really can't and it tasted like nothing. I was like, give me that shit. So we were staying at the Wynn and we got to our room and it was so nice. Like it wasn't like a suite or anything, but it was still like, like it was like a really big room for like not being a suite. And we decided to pregame and talk and giggle and laugh and like make memories in the room for like a while before we went out. So we ended up drinking that entire bottle of vodka um, like before we went out and then we wanted to go to the beach club because we could see like all these beach clubs like from our room. We were like, yo, we need to go there right now so we went to the beach club that was in our hotel we were te well we were staying at the wind but it was technically like the encore so it was like the encore beach club that we went to so we got there and had these like giant vodka red bulls that's what i was drinking all weekend i didn't have anything besides vodka red bulls and like you know we were only there for like an hour and then me we lost mike so me and brendan go up to the room and mike's passed out on the bed i was like oh shit then brendan passes out and i'm sitting there i'm like i have never in my life, I've known these two guys for years. I've never in my life seen them black out like that. I'm not even kidding. So I like seriously think they got drugged, but like why would someone drug them and not me? Like I'm the girl, right? As fucked up as that sounds, like how, why would that happen? So I'm like a really sweet girl. So instead of like shaking them awake or whatever, I set an alarm for one in the morning. And then I went down to the bar by myself and like drank alone at the bar on the phone with my mother and then I was like I should go take a nap too probably right so I went up and took a nap we all woke up at one in the morning we had tickets to go to Zook this like club in um uh resort world Colson's in the birdcage right now and I'm not even gonna do it do your thing do your thing so we went to Zook to see Zed oh also you guys when we were at the beach club earlier that day I literally was wearing like these dirty fucking air forces and but I w wanted to go into the pool so I took off my dirty old air forces and put them on the side of the pool with everyone else's shoes 
And then when I got out of the pool, they were missing. Someone stole my dirty Air Forces. Why would why would anyone want those? So I had to walk to Prada, cause like the hotel we were staying at, it was only designer stores, so there was nothing else. So I walk to Prada barefoot. I walk into Prada barefoot, blacked out. I mean, you can't just um, sneakers that I can wear. And it was like, it was like, like Tara, like Tara, Tara. So I blacked out, bought these pair of sneakers. I wake up at one in the morning to put them on. They're totally not my size, like way too small. I like literally couldn't wear them. But I was like, maybe if I get drunk enough, like they won't hurt as bad. So that was the case that night. They didn't hurt at all. So we go to Zook to see Zed and Brendan left after like 30 minutes. He wasn't drinking. He was just like going to like check out the vibes and then he was gonna go back to the hotel. So me and Mike stayed for like a long time and it was literally the best experience I've ever had in a nightclub. Zed is like absolutely insane. Me and Mike went wild. Me and Mike hobbled back to the hotel at like 4 a.m. and we took out thousands of dollars at the ATM to gamble. I don't gamble. I literally was like, I'm gonna take out all this cash, I'm gonna give it to you and you're gonna gamble it for me. So me and Mike gambled at the roulette table until like the sun rose, I don't know. I don't know what time we woke up the next morning, but we had like the event that day at Tao Beach Club at noon. So we wake up and we went to go get like breakfast and like drinks and I tried to put on those damn fucking sneakers, the Prada sneakers that I bought the day before and I, I couldn't wear them. I couldn't do it, it hurt that bad. I, I couldn't walk in these fucking shoes. So I walked down to breakfast to get drinks and food barefoot um, with like a cocktail in my hand and I kept getting in trouble with the people that worked at the at the hotel. They were like, ma'am, you need shoes. I was like, I don't have any. I don't have any shoes to wear. Like I really, this is all I got. My bear dogs and all. So guess what I did? I had to go back to Prada, barefoot again, drunk, and buy a pair of slides. I wasn't as drunk this time so I, I could figure out my shoe size and like what not to get, you know? <sighs> so I got a pair of slides. I like made, I made the ladies day that like sold them to me. Cause I was just, when I'm like hungover and like a little drunk too, like I'm funny as fuck. I was being funny this weekend, throwing out all these jokes and shit. I made her day. She goes, are you a Gemini? I was like, mm-hmm. She said, I can tell. I was like, I bet you can, I bet you can. So we went to Tao Beach Club and like the event that was there, it was, it was basically like an event at like a few of the tables, canopies, whatever you want to call them. So we went over to the the canopy where Ivy Swimwear was having the event. I'm not even kidding you guys. I They tried to kick me out three times. Like the security guards in the area tried to kick me out of this canopy three times. They were like, ma'am, you can't be here. This is for table only. I was like, I am a part of this table. Like I keep telling you guys this. They kept trying to kick me out. To be fair though, I looked like I didn't belong there. I literally, I, I guys, I brought all these cute outfits for this weekend. I literally wore like, just like one of these, but like gray and like sweat shorts and I had like been in the pool so like it was all wet, like I looked like a mess. So I understand why they kept trying to kick me out, but whatever. We were there for a while, just, you know, drinking, shaking ass, like eating sushi. We got like crispy rice at the bar. It was such a good time. I seriously have to look into my camera roll right now to figure out what we did after that. Cause I don't remember. Oh yeah, then we went gambling. We went gambling. Oh yeah, then we went to dinner and then we were like, we should do the same thing that we did yesterday and take that big fat nap and set an alarm for 1 a.m. again. So we woke up at 1 a.m. and then went to a, a club. What the fuck? Oh, we went to Excess because Two Friends was performing and me and Mike love Two Friends. Like I've been listening to Big Booty Mix for my entire life. I love them. I also just think they're really cool guys and like, I don't know, I, I'm just, I love them. We met these two friends at the club that night and whenever I'm like out drinking and like talking to strangers, I love like to lie about what I do for a job. So I completely, I completely lied to these guys and convinced them that I worked at Air One. Um, it used to be that I like worked at Ralph's, but like there's nothing much I can do with Ralph's. So I, I switched it to Air One because then they'll, Air One's just a more interesting job to talk about. They were like, yo, how many Hailey Bieber smoothies do you make in a day? I was like, bro. A lot. They were like, do you make good money? I was like, fuck yeah, everyone that goes to Air One is rich. I, the tips, crazy. I eventually told them I was lying and they were like, wow, you're like the best liar we've ever met. I was like, why would you? I was like, that's not a compliment. I was like, wait, that's kind of bad. You guys, I got the Rare Beauty highlight that everyone talks about. I had to order it online because obviously it's like sold out in the stores, but I'm gonna try it right now with the Rare Beauty highlight brush. Oh yeah. Oh! I don't know if you can tell on camera, that's the most beautiful highlight I've ever worn. 
Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, anyways, Mike ended up wandering off at some point of the night and he ended up at Treasure Island and like passed out there. So me and Brendan went to the bar. Me and Brendan had a long night. We fucking yapped our asses off at the bar for hours. We went up to the room and ordered like a buffet from room service. We sat across the table and talked our asses off again for hours until the sun rose. We were supposed to leave the next day. So we wake up and we went to the wind buffet because Brendan has been talking about it all weekend. So we had to go to the wind buffet to get some breakfast. And I wasn't planning on drinking, okay? Because we had a flight that day. And I just like, I wanted to get my shit together when I got home. So I wasn't going to drink. Brendan's like, no, let's get bottomless mimosas. So me and Brendan sat there and we drank like two and a half bottles of wine in between the two of us. Like Mike didn't drink at all. And then we're like, should we stay? Mike's like, yo, I gotta go. Me and Brendan are like, yo, we should stay. Like, I don't know. But then he was like, no, 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 I have to go home. I have to go home. I have training. I, I am a boxer. Like, I gotta go home and do stuff. So I'm like, fine, we'll go home. But in the back of my head, I'm like, fuck, I really hope we miss this flight. Like, I wanna stay so bad. I wanna miss this flight so bad. But I wasn't gonna be a bitch. You know, so I was hustling along with them. I was like, yo, let's make it on this flight, bro. But in the back of my head, I was like, I want to miss it so bad. Mike makes it on the flight. I don't know how. I, I like forget how he got ahead of us, but he did and he made it on. But me and Brendan didn't. And the joy I felt. He was excited too. He was like, he was like, all right. I kind of wanted that to happen too, but I had to like kind of pretend to be responsible, you know? So we leave the airport again and pretty much redo the weekend. And I'm drunk. So I'm like, I'm going to book a presidential suite at the Bellagio. And I did. I did. We literally got to our like, this this suite that we got was like bigger than my apartment. It was like the craziest thing I've ever seen. So we got there and we made cocktails. We sat in the room for like six hours and just talked and like listened to music and we were yapping, like talking about everything. That was like honestly my favorite part of the weekend was just like sitting in the hotel rooms and like, like talking for hours. It was so fun. Oh, also you guys, I just remembered um, when we were at the buffet, like the day we were supposed to leave and like me and Brendan were like, we want to stay. But Mike was like, I got to go. Mike left before us and he calls me and he's like, dude, I just walked by Tyga um, next to like all the like um, fake cars. Like you should go find him because I, I don't think you guys realize like Tyga like raised me. Like I was in love with Tyga my entire life. Not so much now because he's kind of a shitty person, but he still like completely raised me from like literally fifth grade. So I was like, oh my God, I, I need to go. I need to go walk by him and like say, hey, what's up? Like you raised me. So we're running around trying to find him. And I'm like, yo, what do I say to this guy? Like, should I say, cause I call myself T-Raw. Like that, that's what I've always called myself since fifth grade. So I wanted to be like, yo, you, like I call myself T-Raw because of you because like he calls himself T-Raw But then Brendan was like don't say that that's cringy as he's telling me that's cringy Tyga like runs by me like literally sprints by me. I'm like Peace whatever see ya Anyway, so me and Brendan are yapping our faces off in the hotel like all day And then we needed to go to dinner because I guess we were starving We went to this place called Lago and like the food was unbelievable and I got super wine drunk And then we sort of wandered around. Oh, he made me cry You guys I would literally it wasn't his fault. It was totally my fault, but he did make me cry. I was sitting on the grass in front of the Bellagio near the fountains bawling my eyes out Wasted I would you you guys don't understand how much money I would pay For that footage you don't get it We sort of wandered around after that and we made our way to this like bar like down like a side street That was like for locals and it was like the most fun ever I bought shots for the whole bar three times Because I was like I want to buy shots for everyone like woo woo like yeah shots yeah and the bartender gets up on the bar with like one of the like bottles with like the little spouts on it and He's pouring it into people's mouths. I was like that was fun that was fun, so I, I want to do it again, and then again. We left the bar at like 3 a.m. and then like wandered to Subway to get Subway sandwiches, and we brought them back to the room and like devoured these Subway sandwiches. They didn't have the like veggie patty at this Subway, so I was eating like a like a Subway like a Italian bread with lettuce, and I thought it was the most amazing thing in the world. Well, he passes out, and then I'm like, wait. Where's my vape? I ripped apart this room for maybe an hour. I couldn't find my vape and I was freaking out because you guys, I have the most, I have the craziest nicotine addiction in the world and like I can't, I can't function without that thing. Like it, it was actually a huge problem. So I'm like, what do I do? So I'm like looking up all these smoke shops and they're all closed. Every smoke shop is closed. Brendan's asleep. So I'm like, do I have to go wander the streets right now by myself? It was like four, maybe 4.30 in the morning at this point. So I do, I go up, my phone is dead. My phone is completely dead. I'm out walking the strip by myself 
looking for like smoke shops. You guys, hours went by. I couldn't find any smoke shops. And then eventually I asked a few people. I was like, yo, do y'all live here? Like, where do I go get a vape right now? They were like, everywhere is closed, but there is this one Walgreens like a few miles down the road that they might have like vapes. So I start making my way to this Walgreens. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna get kidnapped. Like, I my phone's dead, I'm by myself. Like, this is kind of scary. But my love for nicotine will literally take me anywhere, which is literally the most embarrassing statement in the world, but it's true. I finally get to this fucking Walgreens. You guys, two hours have went by. I get to this Walgreens, they're like, no ma'am, we don't have vapes, we only have cigarettes. I'm like, get me a pack of Marlboro Red Shorts, bitch. Also, while I was walking into Walgreens, Finally these two guys come up to me and I th I'm thinking they're gonna kidnap me um, Cuz that's just where my mind goes for good reason and they're talking to me and shit and I like I literally straight up turned around and I was like I I was like I lost my vape a few hours ago I'm in an awful mood like please stop talking to me I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna be a bitch because I I am having like withdrawals right now so like just walk away and they did. Um, so lo and behold, I get back to the room. It's five in the morning and I'm just smoking a cigarette in the bathroom. And the bathroom was like in the main bedroom and Brendan was like sleeping in the bed. So I'm like literally in the bathroom, like smoking a bogue. He wakes up, he's like, get that shit out of our fucking hotel room. Like, what are you doing? Also, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful, like at casinos, in our specific room at least, like you could smoke in there. So then I ordered room service with my cigarettes in my hand and I ate my room service and I, slept on the couch with two bathrobes as blankets because there was no blankets in this room. Anyways, that was like so much fun because I, I just did it with like such like the right people. Like I love those two guys so much. Mike is my best fucking friend. Like Brendan's my best friend. Like I just, I couldn't have picked like a better uh, group to like go on that trip with and I'm just so grateful to have them in my life and like it was just it was just such a funny weekend you guys like I I sort of wish I vlogged it because the shit that we were saying was just like absolutely unhinged it was just so so funny and I understand why Vegas is so addicting now because I wanted to stay another day Brendan was like we got to get the fuck out of here I was like you know what you're right you're right you know when you call somebody that like like obviously does not want to speak to you and then the phone call only lasts like 20 seconds because they don't want to talk to you and then you hang up and you're like wow that was humbling as fuck damn i guess i'm just gonna end this vlog right now because i sort of just rambled for like 30 minutes so i don't want to make this like too long but i'm probably gonna start another one in a little bit or maybe tomorrow and then i'm going to disney in two days um, and I'm gonna, I'll do a vlog while I'm there. I know you guys know already, but I am a Disney adult. Um, take it or leave it. So I'll make a little vlog while I'm there. But, um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me for literally one hour. I just, like, talk too much, so I have to end it right now. But I love you guys. Thanks for coming to my Vegas update. Um, I'm starving. I have to go make breakfast or something. But I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much for, oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to burp in your face, but I really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with me every week. It blows my little mind. If you want to follow me on my other social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram, those are both Tara's World. And then my OnlyFans is It's Tara's World or Tara's Tits. Love ya. Sorry for rambling a little bit. Sorry. I love you. I need to chill with that fucking duck face is what I need to do bad.